switch the device on. In order to go to any of the main menus, separate access keys are available. When the flood detector is switched on, the test menu opens by default. Test mode display consists of the vertical menu, operating field and lower status bar. Main parameters for the flood detector setting up can be found in the vertical menu. For navigation between various parameters, up and down keys are used. In order to change the parameter value, the increase and decrease keys are used. Besides, there is also a possibility to set the parameters changing step using the step key. Settings menu allows to see the device's current settings and to change them if necessary. When opening the View menu, the operator has a possibility to review and to analyze both current and saved data. To load and to save the results or the flood detector settings, the Memory menu is used. The last main menu – Calibration, which serves for the calibration curve creation. Let's dwell upon the Settings menu. To pass to the Settings menu, we have to press a special access key, device setup. Test mode expert is the main operating mode of the flood detector. Conductivity mode is designed for conductivity measurement and for thickness measurement of the non-conducting coating. Test mode is designed for the device service maintenance. Max sample frequency. Measurement frequency while testing. Double frequency mode is activated when it is required to remove the interference vector by mixing two frequencies. Scale in the test menu. Extra gain. Persistence is the time value after which all the data on the screen are refreshed. There are three color schemes to choose from. Display brightness. Rotary ECP full revolutions quantity reflected in the time charts. Sound signal when the alarm is triggered. Language. Synchronization type from the internal generator or from the encoder. Current date and time settings. And the last thing we're going to look at in this video is the memory menu. In order to pass to the memory menu, press the access key. This menu enables saving and loading of the test results, as well as the device settings. To select the folder, press the confirmation button, save default. In order to go back, cancellation button freeze. To save the current test results, move the cursor to the symbol with two dots, and press F2 button. Here, F1 button is used for a symbol deletion, F2 for moving the cursor, and F3 for cancellation of an action. A file name input is done by successive presses of the alphanumeric buttons. After that, the results may be saved by pressing the memory menu pass key. To create a folder, we have to move the cursor to the symbol with one dot and press F2 button. Then perform the same actions like during the file creation. To delete a folder or a file, press F3 button. A folder can be deleted only when all its files were preliminary deleted. To load and review saved results, move the cursor to the necessary file and press F1 button then the result will automatically appear in the view menu. In the settings submenu, a window with a list of settings is displayed. Structure and operating principle with this are same as with the results submenu. In the next video, we will dwell upon the test menu and its settings.